Hey everyone, this is David, Richter Scale Studios. Uh, you can see in the background, we are still on the terrain. But I am doing a little sidetrack and get back to the battle wagon. I need to get that done. Uh, I got it laid out. I just hit it with its uh, second coat and flipped it with some uh, Krylon Crystal Clear Gloss Coat. And you know what that means. We're going to be doing some oil washing next. So uh, I will see you in the next uh, section. And we'll hit this thing with some oil wash and seal that. And get this thing... Um, some final weathering on it and get it done see you soon thanks hey we're back i gave um the gloss coat oh probably about maybe 18 20 hours to cure so it's plenty of time see it's got a little high sheen to it in that light i already hit uh some oil wash on it what i'm doing is got some cheap little reeves um oil paints and a little bit of um odorless turpanoid I mix together, I have a, a little metal pallet tray right here. As we've got some, uh, my cleaning stuff there, it's already dirty and running my um, wash right there. Mixed it up and I already got it on the, this turret right here. And I'll show you how it works. It's real simple. Everyone, a lot of people already know how this oil wash thing works. Just get your brush and let the capill capillary action work. And you see how this kind of goes in there and it kind of knows where to go. And we're gonna come in later on with a um, cosmetic sponge. You've seen me work with these. I do oil, oil washes on quite a few things, even terrain. And um, it'll clean the excess oil that I don't want. Also, it does some kind of weathering too, a little. If there's any excess oil left over that I wanna kind of smear around to make it look like grit and oil or dirt, it's easy to do that too. This is a really cool thing to learn how to do which is not a high, it's not a big learning curve. Just uh, getting the paint and practicing. Uh, I'd get the odorless turpanoid and just get some cheap oil paint. You don't need anything expensive. There's all kinds of stuff I make productions and I have a couple tubes of Windsor Newton stuff. But this is just uh, a wash and you can make, mix your own colors too. So if you want some rusts and stuff like that, uh, mix some browns and orange together and you got some reds. And I might do that on this too, just do some uh, little dots, that'll be a separate um, part. Just do some dots of actual oil paint on the um, model itself after it's sealed. And then take a clean brush with the uh, turpanoid or white spirit and kind of run it down. And it looks like, you know, rust spots or rust streaks. So I just want to give a quick idea of what this does. and. How much it's already changing the look it's making it pop severely all those little rivet heads are amazing looking and we're even gonna uh, add a little interest to the um glyph i made and cast it and put on there and you can see how just this simple ram is so easy to do just put it in the uh wash mix which is barely any paint compared to the uh turpidoid. And then just let it do its own thing. And you can come back, uh, let it, you know, dry, and then clean it off. And if you don't want, need more of the effect, go back and add a little more on. A little bit of pigment uh, left from the paint after the oil dries and evaporates will accumulate, come in like a, almost like a, a, a powder. And these can be mixed with powders also. Um, I recommend getting one of the Forge World books, uh, one and two, if you can get a hold of them. There's a lot of good stuff on oil washes and pigment washes with the oils like these little here these are magnetized but look how real that looks when you just hit it with that so that is going to be it to this i'm going to come back i'll show you what it looks like washed and then we'll come back after that and clean it up and show you what it looks like all clean and ready uh to do some more detailing and we still got to get back to these guys in the back you see there uh, basically base coated and we have a whole mob of guys I've been working on the knob of the um, shooter boy mob and that's the uh, wall banner not wall banner that's a boss pull that I built and it kind of still uh, the blood axe thing I don't know if I did that great of a job at it but it's okay for a uh, first time cutting out a plastic card drilling and make bolts and gluing them in and it turned out pretty cool and uh, he has the original no, I just I changed his pant color I changed his pant color to the new pant color and he's basically base coated uh, to a certain point needs to be touched up. So uh, as usual, thank you for joining me. And uh, we'll be, you'll either be seeing this in the next part or I'm really going off on the uh, 
remodel of the terrain board. I shall be after get this oil wash. I'm going to go down there and hit it with its first uh, base coat of color. So as usual, thank you for joining me. I look forward to your comments and suggestions. Thanks again. We are back. Now that is now covered with oil wash. Um, you can see I took the hair dryer to it. Even uh, some of the gravity just al allows the wash to pull away from it. Like you can see an area right here needs a little bit more of the wash to put in there. And I thickened it up a little bit. I took a hair dryer to some sections of it and tried to uh, pre-evaporate. So it gave it the, the paint a little more cling. So we don't have that problem with the, if the wash is a little too thin. And uh, this is what we got. And so far so good. I'm gonna let it sit for a good while. Let that uh, paint get in there and set in those uh, crevices and around those uh, bolt heads. And then I'm gonna come in there and lightly clean it off. Um, and if we don't like the uh, result, we can add more oil wash or even clean it up even more to the point that you can barely tell there's any oil wash on it. Really like how that crane turned out really grimy in the back. It's kind of, you can see little areas just kind of hit it with some more grime. And then we'll probably hit some other kind of washes later on to look like there's some grease here on these uh, um, hydraulic pistons. So uh, that's going to be all it for right now. I still have to go downstairs and start painting on the um, game board. So um, let me bring that back around. Got the battery ram all done. Got the, uh, the arms to the death roller. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with that death roller. But uh, we're going to do something with it. And um, we'll see you in the next part. Thank you for joining us. Hey, we're back. Uh, I've let the uh, oil wash dry for a couple hours, and we'll start with the uh, battering ram. I've got a little um, metal tray filled with um, terpenoid. Got some Q-tips, which I usually don't like to use, but uh, we might need to get in some little areas. And we got the um, cosmetic sponges, which I love. So we'll see how that works first. Just dip it in there. Still a little bit of uh, paint in there, but that's okay. And then we're just going to lightly remove some of that oil. Not all of it. Just enough to leave that uh, detail back around the uh, bolts and in the um, panel lines of the uh, battering ram. You can see this is getting pulling all of it off of there. Some of it just gets smeared around, but that's okay. We want to kind of get some griminess to it too. It did the back, probably you're not going to see it, but just in case, it's got a little extra detail to it. Then you can flip it around too. I hit it with some heavy oil in some of these areas but we want some dirt in there and grime but also remember we're going to weather this with some dust too some pigment powders later on and this can leave it the way it is for right now and come back to it if uh, we don't like that Looks well, pretty cool though. As well as that part. Let's see. Let's get a little cleaner piece of the yellow. What's that? We have a little piece of um, uh, that tack stuff. It's kind of, you know, no matter how hard you clean it off, it still comes back. I really like how this yellow turned out. It looks really realistic. Then we'll get some dirt on it and probably do some uh, future floor shine with a little bit of ink to get those uh, pistons looking dirty. And so that'll be the end of this part or this section of this part. When we come back, um, I may just do a little bit more. Let's see, take that off. Take that off. Start cleaning this tank up. 
this really brings the realistic back to it. I really got that grill nice and dark in there, so it gives it some depth. This really makes it orky and dirty, like it's been out and doing its thing. Let's go take that apart. We have the whole interior to do. We're going to leave that room basically dirty though. Let's get a little bit of the uh, edges cleaned up. But leave it, because these things live in here. The orcs are uh, not the cleanest species in the whole galaxy. Let's see on this side here. Let's get a clean section. We're going to have to see how that just brings that depth in there. We got the tires and the road wheels for the tracks. They got those little side skirt armor, the exhausts. So um, I will not bore you any further with cleaning this up in front of you. When we get back, I'll show it to you uh, cleaned up. Thanks for joining us.